Hello and welcome to my first of hopefully many photo related videos. This video is about location shooting and lighting with camera flash. I'll be using two types of professional product in this video, my Nikon D7000 and my SB900 on camera flash, and my two different uh, Gary Fong light mod modifiers, which for the price you pay are well worth it, uh, trust me. I'll just show you some examples of some of the lighting I've done with uh, these two in combination. Uh, very, very nice lighting, very well exposed, uh, almost natural looking in some ways. So let's start with our SB900 uh, Nikon flash. And what makes this flash so great and well worth the price is the ability to remote fire. Uh, then we're going to attach our Gary Fong Light Sphere, which is a great modifier that allows you to diffuse the light in a 360 degree pattern when fired and gives you a much softer look. We then attach our flash to a tripod mount, which will allow us to attach it to a tripod uh, that will meet the needs for our shoot. Uh, we want to make sure that it's either, you know, a large or small tripod that we can place within our shoot at the right height. I'm just going to use a tabletop one for this shoot. All right, now we're just going to bring out our second modifier. This is called the Puffer. It's also made by Gary Fong. Uh, this attaches to the hot shoe mount on your digital SLR and will adjust uh, height for any make or model. It creates a softer light from the built-in flash, as you can see by the following examples, because the built-in flash often makes a very disgusting, washed-out, flat-looking light. With this, you can make a rather nice soft light, while still directional, is much better than what the built-in flash usually produces. I mean, I'll just show you an example of what the built-in flash looks like right here. Uh, it's pretty disgusting, really, what the built-in flash usually produces. So this is a very nice modifier. So this, of course, with the remote fire option, will allow me to have two light sources in the image and create a much better exposure and image overall. What you want to do is make sure that your flash is set to remote on the back and your camera is set to the CMD setting or commander mode in your flash setting menu. On higher end models, it's uh, not necessary to fire the built-in flash, but because the D7000 doesn't have the radio signal, instead I have to use the optical slave system, which is the whole purpose behind using the two lights. I think it makes a great looking image, and I've been able to work around that limitation and really make something out of it. Now using a tripod works best in sort of a documentation type situation, but when I'm on location at an event, I typically try to handheld my uh, equipment. I find this allows me to get a much better consistency in light and allows me to be a little bit more controlling and quick when I'm trying to get the perfect angles. You know, of course, this doesn't always work. Uh, you typically want to get natural light when you're doing musical performances and plays and things like that so it doesn't disturb the artists and that is always the best situation as long as your camera can perform up to the task well i uh i hope you found this informative a little bit and uh i hope to be doing more of these so i look forward to those and in the meantime please visit my website and check out my other images thanks